selfish, small, thug, evil. <laughs> Everybody's not going to love Allen Iverson. I, I always was basically judged from day one. You know, the tattoos, I basically got one and then got addicted to it. And um, just kept getting more. All of my tattoos that I have mean something. You know, because I have my kid's name on my body and my mom's name on my body. It's a bad thing. <laughs> like, it's just a, a stereotype, like I said. And then, with my hair in the cornrows, you know, people talked about it being a thug thing. You know, I was tired, basically, of, of barbers messing up my hair on the road. And I was like, okay, well, if I grow my hair and get cornrows, then I don't have to deal with that anymore. And I had cornrows, and then they turned that into some thug thing. So, I don't know, it's just, um, I guess it's just an Allen Iverson thing. You know, that's all, it was just, um, you know, not agreeing with the fact that I wasn't going to try to look like somebody else instead of looking like myself. A positive Allen Iverson story don't sell. Nobody wants to hear that. You know what I mean? The, the negative one sells for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Um, I, I always was uh, basically judged from day one, you know, and, and me not being like everybody else, it was basically like, how dare you? Um, you know, how dare you be like yourself? You know, be like we want you to be. And if you're not like we want you to be, then there's a problem with that. And uh, media will build you up just to knock you down. You know, they'd rather, you know, see something negative happen with me than see me handing out turkeys or Christmas gifts or anything like that. That's not what people want to see. It's evil and it's, it's wrong, but that's, what, that's the world we live in. That's how it is. It didn't make me feel bad because um, it comes from people that don't care about you anyway. So if you have so many people that love you and admire you and kids that look up to you, you know, why would you concentrate on the negative things? You know what I mean? That's like a waste of energy that's taken away from the people that actually do love you and care about you if you're worrying about the ones that don't. I had to learn that. I had to, I had to realize and um, create uh, rhino skin, thick skin. And at a young age, it used to bother me. It used to actually hurt me, you know, because I'm not a black-hearted person. And some people don't care about what people think. And I actually did but I had to learn the hard way that you're not gonna satisfy everybody. You don't have to know what type of father I am, what type of son I am, what type of brother, what type of friend, what type of family man. You don't have to know that. As long as the people that I care about and that love me, as long as they know, that's the only thing that matter. Hardworking, dedicated, loyal, faith, belief, a man, Winner, defiant, tough, resilient, warrior, and a survivor. At the age of 40, I, I don't think I should defend myself anymore. I'm done with that in my life. You know what I mean? I'm done with defending myself. I'm a villain to people that don't rock with me. <laughs> I'm a superhero to the people that love me and care about me.